Hi, everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share about how to calculate sample size for one sample t-test using Minitab. Before watching, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Your support will encourage me to produce more videos related to Lean Six Sigma. In research, during the planning stage of a study, the following questions are of particular interest to the investigators. How many samples are needed in order to have a desired power for detecting a meaningful difference? What is the trade-off between cost-effectiveness and power if only a small number of samples are available for the study due to limited budget and or some other considerations? What is sample size? Sample size is the number of individual samples or observations in any statistical setting used in a survey or experiment. Too small a sample yields unreliable results, while an overly large sample demands a good deal of time and resources. In research study, sample size calculation plays an important role for assuring validity, accuracy, reliability, and integrity of the intended study. Use power and sample size for one sample t to examine the relationship between power, sample size, and the difference when you want to compare the mean of a population to a target or reference value. For example, a process engineer wants to determine whether the mean of plating thickness meets the target of 5 mm. We will learn how to calculate sample size for one sample t-test using Minitab software. Suppose you are the quality manager at a semiconductor plant. In order to meet state requirements, you must maintain strict control over the PCB thickness. The thickness cannot vary more than 0.5 mm. The process sigma is 0.05. How many samples must be taken to estimate the mean package volume at a confidence level of 99% for power values of 0.9? The null hypothesis is the mean thickness is 0.5 while the alternate hypothesis is greater than 0.5. The significance level is 0.01. The power is 0.9 and standard deviation is 0.05. Choose stat, power and sample size, one sample t. In the pop-out, fill in differences, power and standard deviation. In the alternate hypothesis, select not equal. Enter 0.01 for significance level. Click OK. Use the power curve to assess the appropriate sample size or power for your test. In summary, the sample size needed to detect this difference with a power of 0.9 is 3. What if the difference reduces from 0.5 to 0.1? What is the sample size required? Let's change the difference from 0.5 to 0.1 in Minitab. The sample size increased from 3 to 7 when the difference reduced to 0.1. Larger sample sizes are required to detect very small differences between the hypothesized and actual values of the population. Parameter. For a fixed level of alpha equals 0.01 and power of 0.9, reducing the difference from 0.5 to 0.1 will increase the sample size from 3 to 7. There are four factors that affect the sample size, which are level of significance, alpha, expected size of the effect, the standard deviation of the hypothesized effect size and power. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye. See you next time.